Are you an artist that uses Procreate? Have you ever thought to yourself, it would be really cool if I could start drawing and textures instantly appear? Or maybe that finished piece that you just spent hours or days on looks a little bland and you wish you could instantly add textures to spice things up? Or have you ever wanted to get a children's book illustration feel but you just struggle to find the right brush? So if you answered yes to any of those questions, I've got good news for you because I created a new children's book illustration pack for Procreate with artists like you in mind. Included in this pack are 10 Insta Texture canvases and 20 children's book illustration brushes. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at what's included and what you can do with them, so keep watching. So let's talk about my children's book illustration pack for Procreate. So excited about this. First off, where can you buy this? How much does it cost? You can get it on Gumroad. I'll link it down in the description below. And it is only $7. Just like my other brush packs, I wanted to keep it affordable, but just because it's cheap, don't think it was quick to do. A lot of time and care and effort went into making this. So let's look at what you get. First off, let's take a look at Insta Texture Canvases. What the heck are those? So Insta Texture Canvases will allow you to add texture to a new or existing piece of work. These canvases were made by capturing real life textures like you see here. So let's take a look at these and see how they work. So first off, you get 10 Insta Texture canvases featuring a variety of textures. And I've also included four different types for each canvas. So if you work with the color profile RGB, I've got RGB high res, which gives you a 4,500 pixel by 5,400 canvas. RGB regular res, which gives you a 2250 pixel by 2700 pixel canvas, and then the same canvas size in the CMYK profile as well. So that's a total of 40 different Insta Texture canvases. This is what the canvas looks like when we open it. Each canvas starts out by using a texture group at the top, which automatically uses four layers. So plan accordingly based on what iPad you have and what size canvas you choose. As you can see here, looks pretty plain, not a lot going on, just looks like a plain white canvas, but that's where looks can be deceiving. So let's see what they can do. So to illustrate this, the first thing I'm gonna do is turn off the texture group. That's what does the actual action of the Insta Texture Canvas. And for my brush, I'm gonna just use the Medium Blend airbrush here that's included as a default procreate brush so this is one of the beautiful things about the insta texture canvases is that they work with any brush that you have they'll work with default procreate brushes and they'll also work with any extra brushes that you've added through downloads on the internet or people sharing brushes with you so a lot of options here so let's go back over to our layers now and i need to draw on the art goes here layer and i'm just going to do a circle Lock that in and fill it in here. And then zooming in, you can see here, just a very basic solid circle, the edge here with the airbrush, until we go up here to our layers menu and turn back on our texture group. And then instantly, we have a texture on top of that plain circle. So you can see how handy this comes in, how quick it works. Plus you have full control over the results too because each texture layer is separate. So you can turn one off or on, alternating between them to get the look that you want. You can also take manual control by going to the layer blend mode here, touching that and adjusting the opacity for each layer to get the desired effect. So as you saw, you can use these canvases and make a drawing from scratch. And with every stroke, the Insta texture is going to appear, but you can also add the Insta texture to any finished piece. So to show this off, I'm gonna use this finished Kawhi Cactus piece. And we're just gonna come up here to the wrench icon and go to add and copy canvas. And then we're gonna paste this inside an Insta texture canvas. So first off, we have wavy wrinkle. Next up, we have Woven, Watercolor, Corrugated, Wrinkled Paper, Canvas, Cotton Crease, Cork, Burlap, And finally, Pebble. 
In addition to the 10 Instatexture canvases, you also get access to 20 different children's book illustration brushes. So let's take a look at each of these. First off, we have the illustration liner, which gives you a nice thin line with a rough feel to it. Filling in larger areas is easy to do with rough edge painter, which will give you a very rough edge and a natural traditional look to your designs. Next up, we have textured shader highlighter, which has a very grainy feel to it. Next up is the sloppy shader highlighter, which has a very rough edge, which can be used to add textures and then to also go in and remove textures by stacking the two on top of each other. So it gives you a really traditional feel there as well. Let's clear these out. Next up, we have the wet wash watercolor. You can see here just gives you a fantastic watercolor feel. And all these right now are being done just on a basic canvas. This is not an Insta texture canvas. Next up, we have engraving lines that follow the stroke that you're making and have a very nice kind of choppy feel to those as well. Next up, nozzle spray for adding in really light nozzle textured spray textures. Next up, we have tree leaf, which you can quickly add leaves to trees and it follows the actual direction of your canvas to lay those down. Next up, we have plant leaf, which works very similar to the tree leaf to quickly make some plants and bushes. Next up, we have crosshatch. With crosshatch, you can tap to build up crosshatch textures. Next up, we have dot texture that you can once again build up by tapping on the screen. Next up, we have the messy dot shader and highlighter which you can add a very cool highlight or shadow texture here. And once again, going back in and using these combined with the brush and the eraser, you can add and then remove for even more textures to the designs. So we have some coming and going. Next up, we have the ground texture brush. To quickly add in some textures for the ground like grass. Next up, vertical hatches. Very good for adding textures to animals, much like the fur tapers as well. Next up, oval textured pattern. Quickly add in a messy oval texture to your work. Dust and scratches. dash patterns messy lines and finally grass so those are the 20 different brushes that you get with the pack you can create some very traditional looking children's book illustration vibes with this. And to show you that, let me kick back and pull up something that I made with this. So this is made using all 20 of these brushes and you can kind of see what each one did. This is actually listed in the product description page on Gumroad. So if you want to get a better look at this and kind of deconstruct it to see how each of those effects were done, you can do that. And finally, with this set, you also get a one hour long tutorial where I created this piece using the watercolor Insta Texture Canvas and all 20 brushes. So this video is exclusive to the pack. It's not actually on my public YouTube channel. So if you want to see the full hour long tutorial, it walks you through how to actually install the Insta Texture Canvases, how to install the brushes, how all the settings for the brushes work. And we walk through the entire process of making this in real time from start to finish. It's over one hour long and you get the exclusive viewing privileges to it with the purchase of the pack. 
I had an absolute blast making this pack, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what artists like you can do with it. So if you purchase this pack and share artwork online that you made with it, I definitely want to see it. If you're on Instagram or Twitter, tag me at BJ Dell, or you can hop over to Facebook and post it in the Keep Creating group that I have over there called Keep Creating a Group for Artists by Artists, which is linked in the description below. So that's it for today's video, and until next time, keep creating. Thank you.